today we're making the square knot friendship bracelet with adjustable clasp. Fold your cord in half and we start working from the centre. Use two fingers to hold the rope in place and use the other hand to pull down the cord at the centre. Keep pulling down to the desired length of your friendship bracelet. It will look like an M-like shape. Move the outermost cords up and out of the way so you can start your first square knot. Start on the left side. The left cord crosses over to the right. The right cord comes down and crosses at this point here. Then pick up the middle, tuck it under and it goes under and through the loop that you've made on the left. You can do that in one movement or in two stages like we've just done here. The knot will look like a pretzel-like shape with the middle cord sandwiched in between. Slowly tighten up, don't pull too hard too quickly because the rope in the middle will bunch up. If it bunches up, just tug on the middle cords to straighten them out and that's the first part of a square knot. The second part of a square knot begins on the right. The right cord crosses right to left, you bring the left cord down so it sits on top here. Then you tuck it under the middle and under and through the loop on the right. Tighten it up and now you've completed your first square knot. Now to make the two fastening loops, gently tug on the top left and right cords until you get these little circles on the top. Just small loops will do. Repeat the square knot exactly the same as we did before, starting with the left side first. The second part of a square knot begins right to left. Knot all the way down to the bottom. Go slowly so that you can knot as closely as you can to the bottom, like so. Spread out your square knots by gently tugging to cover some of that middle cord that was too short for you to knot over at the end and that will give it a nice neat finish like this. Now you're almost finished. Thread your loose ends into the loops that we made at the beginning to make your fastening. Use a needle or wrap a small bit of sellotape on the frayed tips or just use a hairpin like I have here. you have an adjustable fastening. Try it on your wrist, see how long you need it to be. Tie a knot so the bracelet doesn't fall off when you're opening and closing it. Trim the excess and then you're done. I'd love to know how this worked out for you. Message me if you've got any questions or feedback on my video. Thank you.